Hi, I'm Drew Spencer. I'm staff attorney with FairVote, and I'm just going to talk a little bit about electing multiple candidates to a single office, uh, and especially fair ways of doing that compared with unfair ways of doing it. So, this is uh, this is electing multiple candidates at the same time. Like many city councils, for example, will elect uh, several candidates at once. There are also a number of states that use multi-seat districts. Uh, for their state legislatures. So, for example, if you live in Arizona or in Maryland or in New Hampshire, you might live in a district that elects more than one person. Um, in this case, we've got an example where there are four candidates running for three seats, and we've got them divided by blue and green. This could be anything. It might be political parties, or it might be a city where maybe the blue people are, are really pro-tenant and the green people are really pro-landlord, anything like that. Uh, but we're going to say that in this particular place, about 70% of the voters prefer blue candidates, and about 30% prefer green candidates. Now, the blue voters are obviously in the majority, and they deserve to win the most seats, but uh, they don't necessarily deserve to win all the seats. So the way that most cities and states that use multi-seat districts do this right now is they give people a number of votes equal to the number of seats being elected. But the voters are restricted and that they can only cast one vote per candidate. So if you were a blue voter, you would probably cast three votes, one for each of the blue candidates. If you were a green voter, you'd probably just cast the one vote for the green candidate and waste your other two votes. Um, but it, as you can see, if you did that, the three blue candidates would all get 70% of the vote and the green candidate would get 30% of the vote. As a result, this district, or this city, or whatever, that's 30% green voters, would be represented entirely by blue candidates. Now, the alternative to this would be fair representation voting. There are different methods where you can use voting that would result in a fairer outcome. Uh, in this case, it's clear that 70% and 30%, it should be two blue candidates being elected and one green candidate. One very simple way to do this is by extending the voters' cumulative voting rights. Now what that means is that they still get three votes just like before, but they're no longer restricted to voting for only one candidate and having to waste their votes if there's, if there's, more than one can or if there's only one candidate that they like, but they want to cast all three votes. So the ballot could instead look like this. and voters can assign their three votes however they choose. This way, the blue, can blue voters could still vote for one blue candidate each one, for one vote for each blue candidate, but the green voter would be able to cast all three votes for the one green candidate that's on the ballot. And if you did this, sure enough, looking at the totals, the green candidate would have enough votes to win a seat. You would need about 25% of the votes in a three-seat district to win a seat. Um, this can be done even better with the same ballot we were looking at before, but just say, look, if you only cast a vote for one candidate, then we're going to count that as three votes for that candidate. And conversely, if you're a blue voter, you cast a vote for, let's say, two candidates, we're going to count that as one and a half votes for each candidate. There are a number of different ways of doing this, but the important thing is that you end up with a system where the majority group isn't able to control the entire district or the entire city council, whatever the case may be. Uh, this has come up under the Voting Rights Act in places where voting is polarized along racial lines, where the white majority is able to control an entire city council, for example, even though there's a substantial population that might be black or Latino. Uh, and recently, we've seen the use of cumulative voting rights extended to voters uh, in places like Santa Clarita in California a rather large city. It's also been used in Chilton County, and it was even used to elect the Illinois House of Representatives for over a hundred years. So that's cumulative voting, an example of fair representation voting.